let the mistreatment be enough closure for you what is popping besties it is your girl pascaline and i am back with another youtube video now if this is the first time you're seeing this beautiful face hello my name is pascaline i make lifestyle content a lot of self-development content and really entertaining vlogs i hope you subscribe to be part of the family and you stick around for a long run in today's video i'm going to be talking about breakups guys breakups can be very very draining they can be very very hard let me first of all tell you that if you're watching this and you're going through a breakup you're so 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 beautiful and i'm just sending you virtual hugs and i love you so much so let's just get straight into today's video so guys first things first i want you right now bring out your phone and start deleting and blocking them on your social media okay i don't care if you guys broke up on oh we're on a we're on good terms if we're on good terms you will still be in a relationship basically so bring out your phone block them if you can't handle them randomly popping up on your feed you need to block them and you need to delete traces of them on your phone pictures whatever i know you guys might have had like memories that you cherish you can still have those memories in your heart you don't need physical reminders of what used to be you need to get rid of things that remind you of this person for your own sanity for your own sake okay i don't care if you guys broke up on a good term i don't really believe in that but like <laughs> if you guys are on good terms you still if you can't handle them randomly popping up on your feed delete them and if you don't want if you don't want to okay go like the blocking route mute them so you don't keep seeing updates on them so step one to starting your healing journey is to make sure you have gotten rid of everything that is going to remind you of this person pictures clothes hoodies there are exceptions to this like if they got you like really expensive stuff don't just go and be throwing them away. Listen to me. Go and sell those things and make some money out of it. You can't lose both ways to make sure you don't have any, you don't turn around somewhere and like you're seeing this person. You don't have things that constant reminders. This time is not a time for you to be holding on to sweet memories. Those memories will always be there with you forever. You just right now, you need to throw the physical reminders away the next thing is for you to write 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 journal okay bring a pen and a paper is going to represent the person see it as if you're writing a letter to this person listen closure is a myth okay let the mistreatment be enough closure for you don't say you want to start writing epistle to send to anybody no that's why i said get you a journal and a pen write down every single thing you want to tell this person write down every single thing pour out your heart in that letter let that be an outlet for you burn it throw it away dispose it do whatever you have to do with it but make sure that is weird anytime you feel like oh let me go and text this person and tell them how i feel go and open that journal and write inside that journal okay that is your closure let that be your closure you need to move forward don't reach out to this person asking them oh why did we break up for your own sake you need to focus on you right now you need to focus on you growing you need to focus on you moving forward script all your feelings i actually recommend you burn it let burning it let it act as a symbol of release for you let yourself grieve okay process your feelings do not try to distract yourself do not try to get under somebody else to try and get over another person guys feel your feelings cry if you need to take your time if you want to stay in bed for 24 hours stay in bed for 24 hours eat your ice cream do whatever makes you feel happy rot if that is what is going to make you happy this present moment do just that okay which also leads me to the next point i know i said like in your grieving process don't put a time limit but also you need to know that you can't grieve forever and at some point you have to stand up and do what you need to do so take a minute take two minutes take 24 hours take 48 hours if you really 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 need that time give yourself an entire week an entire week is honestly too much but you can that's the max you should be able to like honestly after that week you need to stand up you can't rot for more than 
that week. Like you need to stand up and get it moving because your life needs to go on and you can't be crying every day. You can't go through that cycle every day for your own good, for your own mental health. You need to move forward. So stand up, dust yourself up. So now that you have finished crying you've given yourself your grieving time you've had some time to grieve and you've done all of that guys again i want you to bring out a pen and a paper and i want you to write every single thing that was wrong with the relationship every single reason you guys broke up why you don't want to be in a relationship with this person again you know every single thing you don't like about this person write a pros and cons list but just write only the cons and make sure every single time you want to break your no contact rule go back to that list let this list be on your phone and before you text them go to your notes app and see this list and say ah girl you deserve better you need to realize that you deserve better if you guys broke up there is definitely a reason you guys broke up there is always better there is always 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 better i don't believe in the one that got away if you're really the one for me you will not get away anywhere we are going to be in this forever if you're really the one you can't get away to anywhere make sure you remember that there is always better you should keep moving forward because there is always better and if you settle for what you don't want how will you find better or what you don't deserve how will you find better now girl it's time for you to have a level up plan listen one thing i would always say is i am nobody's ex nobody can come out and say that they are my ex i don't freaking care if we used to date i don't care because i'm literally not the same person you are dating don't level up because you want them to see you and think oh my god i lost level up for yourself if you need to find new hobbies find new hobbies if you need to find new interests find new interests if you need to start taking new classes start taking new classes if you need to move cities do things that can help you to move move cities okay it is time for you to start focusing on yourself like focus on yourself heavy remember that sometimes eh, when we get into relationships we lose some parts of ourselves subconsciously we just do it's time for you to get so in love with yourself again focus on yourself discover new things about yourself have this recovery arc (laughs) guys i'm watching a lot of anime what the fuck is a recovery arc (laughs) focus on yourself heavy don't even give room for distraction focus on yourself your goals your values what you really want out of life set your standards again guys go to therapy if you need to honestly at the end of the day relationship goes two ways and most of the time the both parties play a part i'm not talking about cheating or anything like that the both parties play a part in the breakup and you should find out your own part and make sure you learn you learn from your mistakes and you grow so that when you meet the next person when you're ready to start dating again you don't bleed on people that did not cut you okay heal 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 okay this is a time where you focus really 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 heavy on yourself and take your self-care your self-development to a different level the last thing i want to tell you is that do not go out thinking maybe something is wrong with you especially if your partner like stepped out in your relationship don't start thinking what is wrong with me why why am i always getting cheated on why is this why is that listen one thing i have come to realize is that cheating is a reflection of who they are what they are they are disrespecting their body and it has nothing to do with you detach yourself from that idea that when they do something like they go and sleep with somebody else or they cheat or step out in the relationship that it has something to do with you or it has something to do with something that is lacking in you and you need to go and change yourself to meet up to their standards listen to me there is always better the most respectful thing you can ever do to yourself is to leave if you respect yourself if you love yourself the way you say you love yourself if you care about yourself is to leave don't start scrutinizing the whole thing don't start scrutinizing yourself and your body and thinking that oh maybe they cheated because of uh, the girl had something i don't have please please they can go to hell for all you care they can literally go to hell for all you care 
that's the end of this video my loves i hope you learned something from this video thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to be part of my bestie gang because my bestie gang is literally the best gang on youtube i love you so 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 much and let me just tell you time heals everything with time you're going to not even care you can you even look back and be like what the hell i dated this person ew <laughs> so yeah that's the end of this video i love you so much take care Mwah.